Hello folks, it's Jason again. Uh, this time I'm doing a little life hack on the quick set locks. It took me about 30 minutes to call the people up just to figure out the simple information, making sure that I was correct. So, got a quick set, uh, the keyless, uh, or sorry, not keyless, um, the rekey um, technology. You can see right there, it tells you the, uh, the coding for your lock. So right here, this is for a uh, 974027 or sorry, hyphen 732 uh, lock set. So what we're going to learn today is how to make the key that was upside down on a lock be right side up. It's actually very, very simple on this lock set. I've done a few of these before and I figured I might as well show you how to do it. So on this set, you actually have to take your screwdriver, and you'll notice right underneath there, or sorry, uh, your Allen wrench, right underneath there, there's a little spot just to poke that in and twist, and it tells you on the directions how to do this as well. But I figured we'd start from the very beginning. Now this is the one, this is the guilty culprit. So let's say your lock is like that, and you want it flipped the other way, this way. So what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead Turn this swap knob. And take this sleeve off. Now you can see right here on this lock set that there's teeth. You see that teeth? It goes all the way around and it stops. So if your lock is sitting this way and you want it to face this way, all you have to do is take a screwdriver, which I actually used to have one. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and use this Allen wrench here. And, oh boy, that won't work. I'll just use the re-key piece. You can pop it right off. Like this. so. So I just popped it right out by applying pressure right there. Pull this out. And then turn it out, pull it out, and you can see it's just got the spot so it'll only fall in right into place. See? Just like so. Now it's facing the right direction for me. Okay? That's all it is. Pretty simple. Pretty cut, cut and dry on this set. It's not a, not a whole bunch of taking things apart and twisting this back knob and all that stuff. Now it's just popping the pin out, swapping it around. Figured I'd save you guys a couple of few minutes. Me, I waited 30 minutes just to get in contact with them, just to make sure that that was all that was done because I didn't want anything to fall out and me be voiding the warranty and all that other fun stuff. So congratulations. There you go.